Hey guys, this is Alvin. Now we're going to discuss about an e-commerce website with front-end Angular, back-end Laravel, which is kind of a PHP-based framework, and database is a MySQL database. Then we consider MVC, which is kind of a model view controller, which is quite a popular nowadays. Like all over the world, every big company or big tech is using the same thing, where like thousands of developers can work at the same time without any interruptions so we did the same thing in this product as well so when it comes to model view controller if you assume the view as a ui or the view as a, as the user or the customers who's gonna see the products view is nothing but is nothing like it can assume as an html page which the users or the customers are gonna see or the products or the items which they they want to see and this is the controller where controller acts as intermediate between the view and the model model and the view won't communicate or interact directly it will only communicate to the controller no matter whatever it is it's from the server side or from the ui side so the command has to go to through controller the controller decides what 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 it should do after receiving the command and based on, on the instinct and based on the on the other requests the control is gonna accept some some of the requests and here if you see see in, if you see here we we have like fetch card dot php and add item dot php and remove item dot php all these are nothing but controller controls depends on the request if the request is like add item so it's gonna go to add item dot php so it will add the product based on the primary key or the foreign key and, and the id and name or the image associated with this product If the request to the controller is like a remove item, it will go to uh, remove item of PHP and it will remove the item from the cart. Con here, controller plays a major role. In the similar way, we have index all dot PHP, index new dot PHP, and you have your database files here where we, we connected with the pro this database with username root and password it's like you can keep anything but i, I keep nothing i leave it blank and the same thing here we have a mysql host like the local host we are on this website on local host at first and then we're going to deploy and, and then we're going to deploy Here in, in the con.php, it's the same thing with my SQL connect. And here are the SQL files. Here we created and inserted all the data which we want to display to the user, or, or we can consider them as a products or item, whatever it is. And in the order section, all the items which customer order from store in this thing where the owner the owner can see what all the, the items of customer order and here we have the, all the items which we use in our project jpjs so this is our implement this is the implementation of our e-commerce project here you can see all the all the products and the details and the prices. Current it displays the what all current items in the bag. Currently there were like seven items. Here you can remove all the item, all the items. And you can go back and you can add what all the products you want. For example, I order I I order like six products and like I have six products in the bag, so we can go from here or here. So it displays the total amount for all these items. 
And if you click order now, you have to fill all the details, which is name, mobile number, and email address. And you have to select whether it's a mail or self pickup. Now I'm going to click self pickup and I'm going to click order now. This is the order, this is the order summary page where we will see like what, what all details that you enter, chill the customer details, and what all the products that you order with the total amount. So when we go to my PHP admin. Okay, like my scale database see here we have two databases shop order and a product display in the product display we have table product table where we can add all the products which is very useful in order to add the products and it's quite easy and in the shop order we having orders table when a customer when a customer orders some products so all the data will be stored in the order table where owner can view and send the items accordingly. Here you can see whether it's self pickup or home delivery, what's the amount and, and the mobile number and the items and mail, the order ID. Here you can see all the order IDs and, uh, and the order and the name, name of the product and the picture associated with the product. And the price accordingly yeah, that's all about uh, this grocery store project it's nothing but a simple e-commerce project where we implemented a simple e-commerce project with angular laravel which is a php based framework and mysql database thank you